uh, I've become a conflict photographer in my own city. So uh, I've never imagined this uh, in my lifetime. You know, I always hold up my, my press pass and my often my camera and then I'll photograph and then I'll hold and photograph and hold and I'll say press, press, you know, Oregonian or just I'm always identifying myself because these situations are very far and I'm being clear who I am. And then uh, they yelled at everyone to go north, you know, to, to move. So they began to move again. So when they began to move and tell us to move north, you know, I turned around and obeyed, you know, went to move north. And then um, during that time, uh, I was pushed by an officer and then, and then batoned by that, by, by the same person. I, I don't, you know, I, I did, and then I was like an Oregonian, you know, like, didn't you hear me? Like I had been showing my press pass and all this stuff, like, what are you doing? I have those uh, specific filters on a, um, a gas mask. I wear a stab vest um, and sometimes I wear a bulletproof vest. It just kind of depends on the situation that I'm in. Uh, and I like it better. I know some people say it's heavy, uh, but I think for me, um, because, you know, I'm always carrying things, my core strength is pretty good. So the bulletproof vest is an excellent thing to have. So gas mask, bulletproof vest. On the bulletproof vest, I always have a big press patch, front and back, that you just attach on with Velcro. Um, I have a helmet, you know, a metal helmet, and I put press stickers on the metal helmet. Um, that's really important because people have, you know, they uh, will impact me, uh, munitions will sometimes uh, be deployed by law enforcement, sometimes pretty indiscriminately. Um, and you have to be really careful. There was a protester who, um, who had a skull fracture and received brain damage um, what being hit by, uh, munitions, impact munitions, those canisters hit you really hard when they hit you. So I've had to kind of, you know, bulk up on my, on my person. Um, but I would say those three things are kind of the main things, uh, the bulletproof vest, um, the helmet and the gas mask. So, mm -hmm. I think I was really born to do this work. I, I can't imagine turning my back on what is the biggest story of our time. Uh, I would uh, feel terrible uh, being this close to it and not being uh, not having a front row seat. I think I was born to be in that role. I think I, in some ways, all of my, you know, in some ways I've I've been doing this for work for a long time and it's sort of like all my skills have matured and come to bear in this moment. In some ways I've been primed for this moment. And, and so I feel suited to it. Uh, and, and so it feels in some ways my destiny to be there.